Now, from WSFA Sports, this is Friday Night Football Fever, sponsored by Guardian Credit Union, Jax, Brian Jewelry, The Vance Law Firm, LBW Community College, Rely Metered Propane, a Thompson Gas Company, Baptist Ortho Now, and the Sutherland Automotive Group. from football teams across Fever Country are in, including our hot play, but this week is a little different. That's right, Rosie. About halfway through the season, most of our teams are playing non-region games tonight, but that allows an old rivalry to return here in the capital city. The 4-1 Trinity Wildcats hosting St. James. The Trojans coming into this one on a three-game winning streak. Home offense was cooking early, though. Phillip Mitchell airing one out. Beautiful throw here and an even better catch by Lawson Roth. Hauling this one in over the shoulder. Second quarter, same drive. The Wildcats will cap it off with Fleming Hall in the Wildcat. Physical run here. That would put Trinity up 7-0. We'll fast forward late first half. It's Mitchell again airing it out to the one, number one. Xavier Boswell wide open, makes the grab. Now he's got running room, but tremendous effort from Tabor offered to track him down for St. James, but it was only a matter of time before they found the end zone again. Mitchell rolling to his left. He's got Matthew Schroll who will stroll his way into the end zone. Trinity dominates this one on home turf, winning 28-7 over St. James. I like what you did there. All right, a top 10 matchup of their respective classifications. Brantley hosting Highland home tonight. Second half squadron already up three scores and the explosiveness of Tyler Cheney Man. is about to make that four scores. Man, number 12 on channel 12, always Mr. Coming Cheney. Coming off the hot play of the week. No, and our fever athlete of the week. Now Highland home fans out in full force. They love to see this. Uh, Austin Crittenden makes his way into the end zone with a bit of a score, bit of force here. The Flying Squadron remain undefeated. They go on to win 56 to 6. A first time matchup in Montgomery County. Pike Road hosting Opelika. And this is an elite uniform choice for the Patriots tonight. I'm loving the gray. Third quarter, dogs up 10, and they're trying to extend that lead. Calvin Hewley takes the handoff. He's headed towards the corner. He's got the edge, and he is in. Touchdown, Opelika. They go up 31 24. So Pike Road's got to score some points. Kaysen Myers, QB, rolls to his left. Tough throw here, but he's got a few guys downfield, and Gavin oh. Rivers there to bring this one in. So they're driving. Patriots eventually third and goal from the two yard line. Pike Road trying to punch this one in, but it's fumbled and Opelika recovers on the goal line. Opelika goes on to win this one 31 to 20. All right, Montgomery Academy hits the road to take on Laverne. It's the first meeting of these teams this century. Oh, wow. Okay, second <laughs> quarter, Reed McBride, the QB, steps back, loads up, and fires one over the middle to Knox Wingate. Great name for the score. Early 6-0 lead for the Eagles, but had trouble kicking there. Later in the quarter, Laverne trying a quarterback punt, but... It gets blocked. Oh boy. This puts the Eagles in great field position, and it was only a matter of time. Eagles just need one yard, and they get it back from they get it from Mac Benefield. The Eagles going strong as they win this one, 36 to eight. Let's go, Generals! We got the fever. Yeah! <laughs> 
Now to a cross county showdown there in general country. Otago Academy hosting Prattville Christian first quarter. The Panthers strike first with the reverse play to Luke Lawson. Very clever there, taking it to the house to put the Panthers up 6 0. Later on, the Generals find their footing. Running back Cameron Wright, he runs around everyone through defenders, and they would go up 8 6 after a successful two point attempt. Generals ball again. It's a quick pass here to Cody Tornow, and he's taking it all the way. Generals lead 14 to 6. Otago Academy gets back in the win column here. 36-20 the final. We got the Beavers! Go Rebels! <laughs> Alright, heading north to the NWO. Real Town hosting Dadeville tonight. Rebels first drive. Jamarcus Smith back to pass and finds a wide open. Catavius Martin who takes it to the house. Man, he makes it look easy. Number 12 on channel 12. It's 6-0 Real Town. Next Rebels drive. Smith goes back to the air and finds Martin once again. This is his guy right here. And that yeah, is Yeah, we see a, a lot of him. Down. Yes, Smith to Martin. So the Rebels go up 14-0. And then second quarter, Smith puts up his third touchdown pass, this time finding Elijah Woods, who makes the grab here. Rebels up 21-0, airing it out all over the field tonight. Realtown keeps its winning ways, taking this one 34-6. Heading to Wetumpka, hosting Eufaula tonight. We got there in the third quarter when it was 7-3 Indians. Wetumpka looking to capitalize after an interception. It's Justin Goodwin on the read option. He just walks into the end zone there. Coaches absolutely loving that, making it 14-3. Wetumpka did get the ball again, but it was forced to punt, and it was blocked by Thomas Hill, and that gave the possession back to Ufala, but they would come up scoreless after the turnover. A couple possessions later, Ufala with the ball inside the 10. It's thrown to the end zone, and it is picked off by Jushin Fleming. Wetumpka able to get the win here, 14-3. Alright, there's much more from the Fever after the break. Pike County looks to get the offense going on the road. And Andalusia tries to get back to their winning ways after falling below 500.